Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for this look right here. Basically, I wanted to film something different. I wanted to film a black smoky eye, but I didn't want it to be like every other black smoky eye, so I decided to blend it out with some color. This would also be a really, really fun pride look if your pride hasn't already passed. I know a few places have already had pride, but I know like Vancouver hasn't had their pride yet. Yeah, other places haven't. So if you haven't had pride, this would be a fun pride look or just a fun, colorful going out look. I had so much fun creating this look. It's so fun because it's black smoky but still colorful. So if you want to see how I achieved this look then just keep on watching. Alright everybody so let's get started. First thing I'm going to be doing is priming my eyes with the BH Cosmetics Studio Lid Primer. What's it called? Uh, smooth Canvas Long Wear Primer. That's what it's called. So I'm just going to apply that with a brush and then blend that out with my fingers. And then we're going to take the NYX Ultimate Brights Palette and we're going to start off with yellow. So basically we're going to start by packing the color in the upper crease. So as you can see, I'm just taking a pretty dense pencil brush and I'm just going to start packing the yellow towards the like inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to take this more kind of golden -y orange shade and pack it on just to make it a little bit brighter. Brighter. Again, we're just going to start by packing it, and I did not set my base after doing this. Then we're, we're going to move on to orange and kind of go, you know, in color order and do kind of an orange kind of in the middle. And I'm kind of like softly blending as I go, but I'm mostly just trying to pack this color on, and I don't want to blend it away too much because I want to keep the color exactly where I placed it. So again, I'm taking more of that kind of salmony orange color right now. Then we're going to go in with a hot pink and we're going to place that towards the outer corner of the lid. And again, just kind of softly blending, but you know, it's the same thing. We're going to take, and you could do this with whatever colors you wanted to. I'm just taking more orange in the middle. And again, this is kind of where I started to kind of blend the colors, but again, blending very softly because we want to keep the colors right where we placed them. I'm just taking a clean blending brush and I'm just blending out the very, very, very top up by my brow bone. Then we're going to take the Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute Palette. I'm going to take the shade Void, which is the black, and I'm just going to take this kind of like paddle kind of brush and pack the black on. I'm packing this black all over my lid up to my crease, but I'm not packing anywhere above my crease. I'm just taking it right to the crease. Then into the crease, we're going to take this little tiny Sigma blending brush and we're going to blend into the crease. Now this got a little bit difficult since we didn't really have any like colors to transition the black into the red or, or, or the yellow. You're welcome to put them, but I wanted it to be a pretty stark contrast from the black to the yellow. So then I'll just go back in with the same colors, with the blending brush, with the same bright colors, then back with the black back with the yellows and reds and oranges with the blending brush, back with black, y'all know the drill. And then I'm just going to kind of intensify the light colors that we used. I just go back and forth a lot to make sure it is nice and blended together. Then I'm just taking a slightly less dense brush, that way it can blend a little bit more to blend the black out. Then we're gonna take this Steely Style Liquid Metals in the shade Guitar Solo. This really like made the look for me. It kind of gave that like wet, glossy eye look and I am so glad that I decided to add it because I think it adds such a cool dimensional finish to the look. I love these Steely Style Liquid Glitters. They are some of my favorite favorite eye products. Dance break, then we're going to move on to face. I'm going to take the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation in the shade Porcelain, and we're just going to blend that all over our skin with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge as per normal. And then we're going to take the, I have like a tiny bit of fake tan left, so um, I'm going to take the NYX uh, HD Concealer in the shade 04 to add just like a little bit of coverage because it's really, really close to my skin tone. And then we're going to take the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade 05 Fair just to highlight and brighten it back up a little bit. And we're again, just blending that out with the same sponge as normal. Y'all have seen this a million and five times. 
Then we're going to set the under eyes with the LA Girl Pro Banana Powder, and this is a Bellium, Dellium Tools Tapered Contour Brush that I'm using to set my under eyes with. I love these Dellium Tools brushes. Then we're going to take the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder and this BH Cosmetics B V1 brush, excuse me, and we're just going to set our face. Then we're going to finish the uh, <laughs> under eyes. I'm going to start by taking Void, and I'm just going to, again, blend that on my lower lash line. I'm not taking this too crazy down because this is already such a like heavy look. I didn't want to overwhelm it too much, but we're just going to blend that on our lower lash line and then again blend it out with the same color. So this time I'm starting with the pink in the outer corner so that way the pink kind of wraps around that outer corner and I take the pink and then I also take a slightly more purpley pink as well and add this to my lower lash line as well just so we can kind of continue with the rainbow scheme. So this is when I take a little bit more of like a purpley pink shade and start blending this down my lower lash line as well. Then we're going to take the <laughs> Steely Style Line and Seal Semi-Permanent Eyeliner. We're just going to line our lower lash line with this and then just take this flat little BH Cosmetics brush and blend it down a little bit so that it's not super chunky looking. Then I'm just going to take a little bit more of the black and just make sure any spots that have, like, you know, been blended away a little bit have been re-darkened. Then for face, I'm going to take the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is the Delium Tools Slanted Contour Brush. It's one of my new favorite blush brushes or bronzer brushes, excuse me. It just works so well. Y'all know I love these like more precise bronzer brushes. Then I'm just going to contour a little bit with my Anastasia contour kit in the shade Fawn. Just want to make my face a little bit more, you know, structured. Then we're going to take the BH Cosmetics black light highlighting palette and going to take this bright yellow shade. This is such like a nice wearable highlight, like a gold yellow highlight. I was actually looking for it to be like way more yellow Yellow, but it's actually pretty wearable, so I wasn't I wasn't too mad about it. We're just gonna highlight all over our face with that. Then I'm gonna take the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I haven't used this in so long, but it just fit this look so well. Then we're going to fill in the eyebrows real quick and get our hair done, get your nails did, you know. <laughs> then uh, these are the Dell lashes in they're the double up lashes in style 203, I think, but it'll be for sure linked down below. And then for one of the final touches, we're gonna take the Makeup Geek Iconic Lipstick in the shade Naive. I love this shade. And then we're just going to top it with some Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. And once that is done, this look is totally complete. I had so much fun making this look. It is so fun and colorful, but sexy and sultry. And I just had so much fun, so I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.